the two variables we consider most explanatory is price and quantity. We're going to make the assumption the demand curve has this typical shape, downward sloping left to right, indicating that at high prices we'll buy very little and at low prices we'll buy a lot more. We're going to draw an upper sloping supply curve, indicating that at higher prices the producers have more ability to make a profit. They also have more ability to buy more resources and hence their ability to supply more at these higher prices. Let's assume that for some reason the dis initial disequilibrium price is high at this amount right here, which we'll put a number at, at um, we'll say this is 20 and we'll say that's $30. At that high price, the first curve we intersect is the demand curve, and so the quantity demanded then is this number here. At that high price, we're very excited about supplying more of the good, and the intersection at $30 is this amount right here. And let's put some numbers in here just to give it some um, reality. Um, my technique is to pick the extreme values, which say is 100, I divide that by 2, so that would be 50, half of that would be 25, half of this difference is 50, so this is 25, and therefore interpolating, that number would be about 75. Looking at those numbers and trying to make it look somewhat realistic, I'm going to estimate this value here at 60. So we see the quantity supplied at $30 is 60, the amount that's demanded is 25. You take that difference, and that difference is 60 minus 25, which I believe is 35 units. People say in the textbooks, there's a surplus and that drives the price down. And that's correct, but let's be more instructive. The only people that can change prices are the suppliers. If you walk into a store and don't like the prices as a buyer you can't do that it's illegal and you get into trouble so the prices come down along the supply curve not along the demand curve and just for the case of instruction let's pretend that they overshoot the case and that even though the equilibrium is here at say $25 at amount at a part that corresponds to 50 units and by lowering the price too much in an attempt to get rid of this surplus, this surplus, we drop the price down to, um, that would be half of that, would be 10. They drop it down to $10. At $10, we have discouraged everybody in the supply curve above $10 along the supply curve for producing the good. So instead of producing 50, which would be the equilibrium, at this low price of $10, we would um, supply about 12 units. At that very low price, we're very, very encouraged to buy the good at 95. So we have then a situation where there's 95 demanded, only 12 supplied, and so we have an amount equal to 83 that's in deficit or shortage, same thing, a deficit or a shortage of 83 units. Now, none of the books tell you this, and I like to use what I consider to be a very ironclad logic to get back to equilibrium. Because the demand curve has two qualities, ability plus willingness, those two qualities, we can see that since they want more of the product, they're willing to pay more, and so they start offering more money for the good. And you can see this on online sales. When I want something, I really want it a lot, uh, and I find these low prices, they're always out. They've already, been, they've already been sold out. But if I go to higher price stores, they typically have stock. Um, I don't think of anything recently I did that. I can't offhand. I think we've all experienced this. If you want to pay more, you encourage more suppliers to enter the market, okay? But the prices are offered by the buyers. This process of 
surpluses and shortages then continues to operate and interact until we get closer and closer to the point where quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied and that's the term described as equilibrium. Quantity demanded equal to quantity supplied. Please don't make the mistake of ever saying that supply is equal to demand. If you did that, that's tantamount to saying that if the demand curve were here and supply were equal to that, supply would be right on top of that. And that, of course, is illogical and is not true. So make sure you talk about equilibrium. You can say it's the intersection of supply curve and the demand curve intersection, or it's the point in which quantity demand is equal to quantity supply, not where supply is equal to demand. And this is foundational throughout the entire course, this whole process of getting towards equilibrium. Please remember that demand is actuated by those two qualities, ability and willingness. So that brings the price up. These are suppliers. They can't live on their inventory. And in order to get rid of their inventory, <laughs> suppliers have to lower their price.